Um, I must say it's reminded me of, um, I was in Oma when that happened in 1998, and I was in London for the 7-7 bombings, and while the devastation here does not match either Oma or London, the, I think the mood and the sentiment is very similar. I think um, I remember people in, in uh, Oma were very uh, sad, but also very um, determined and defiant and would not be cowed by terrorists. And obviously I saw that with Londoners after the 7-7 bombings. And I see it today. I mean, I, I, I just coming down the street and I high five the firefighter I know. And uh, people are angry, people are hurt. But people, uh, whoever did this, doesn't know this town. And um, it's gonna take a lot more than that to make us lie down. It's a very tough town, it's a very resilient town. And um, obviously yesterday was um, devastating on so many levels, but I have, to, I have to wonder if the people who put those bombs there have children of their own. And will their children someday, hey daddy, what did you do during the war? And if that person who put the bomb was honest, they'll say, I killed an eight-year-old boy. His name was Martin Richard. That's what I did during the war. I killed an eight-year-old boy. You've had you have contact with his with his family? No, I haven't had any contact with his family, but I know who they are. Uh, the mother's a Savin Hill girl. The, the the father is well known in Dorchester. He's a great guy and a community activist. And they they live in a part of Dorchester that's really come back, and it's come back because of good people like the Martins. And um, the riches, I mean, and like I said, that that poor family was devastated because the boy was killed, his sister lost her leg, and the mother was seriously injured. And it happened just moments after um, Martin hugged his dad after his dad finished the marathon. So that family went from you know great joy to being totally devastated in, a, in an instant. And uh, I think that kind of what happened to that family. Uh, encapsulates what happened to this town. It was a punch in the gut. And, uh, but I, I'm telling you, those, whoever did it, they don't understand this place. Boston's a very, very resilient town.